So you thought you didn't know how to date. Well, at least you know. <coughs> you know at least. At least you know you don't know how to date. We've established that. But these people, bitch, you are not, you're not ready for this. Okay, remember last time we made a video together, right? The, um, the most embarrassing dating show on the internet. Remember that one? And you guys begged for a part two. We need a part two in this video. So drop a thumbs up. Let's get to 30,000 likes and we'll do a part two. Wow. Here it is. Part two, bitch. That's double the cringe and double the secondhand embarrassment. I know I'm not ready for this. You're not ready for this. <laughs> Don't wink at me, that's crazy. <laughs> Bro, you love feeling uncomfortable. Yeah, you do. Shut up. No, you like it. Look at you. You're enjoying yourself. You're excited. Well, you know what? Drop a thumbs up. 40,000 likes. And we'll do triple the embarrassment, bitch. Triple it for part three. How about that? <clears throat> Yeah, look at oh you excited now. Can we talk about can we talk about this? Can we talk about how great we look in the look at these people. Look at these look at us. Twinning. We look we look great. We look amazing. We look, we look desperate. <laughs> Dude, we look <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. You guys look amazing. You guys look my heart skipped a beat when I saw these pictures. Alright. If you want to send me yourselves in your merch, don't forget to send that over to Reball Merch. Alright, send it in a DM and I'll I wanna look here. That's what I that's what I wanna do. See this this is why I'm yeah, it's the things I say. Alright, let's let's end this long, painful ass intro. Pair yourself for secondhand embarrassment. You're not ready for this. I'm warning you. Here we go. What does love mean to you? Like what is your definition of love? Other than watching Snoopy together? Fuck. <laughs> 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 It's really about like two people who have a full cup. Um, that energy is like overflowing, and then when you have an interaction with somebody else, essentially you can share in that energy and that good exchange. Yeah. All of us express and experience love in different ways in yeah. a relationship. So like when I'm in a relationship, I express my feelings of love to the other person through like affection, touch, and through like, quality time together, right? <coughs> <coughs> Can you shut up? Can you shut up? Girl's bored out of her mind. <laughs> okay. Right. But some people don't express love that way at all. So it's different for all of us. There's somebody who's probably got about the same, right? Yeah. So like if I if I connect with somebody that has a love language. Y'all did him dirty, zooming in on his lips. Lips? <laughs> what lips? No, I'm sorry, but like, bro, shut up! We're just like gifts. Like, sure, I can buy stuff from the person. Oh my god, it's the worst thing when you're on a date and there's only one person doing all the talking. Kind of like me and you right now. Actually, literally like me and you right now. You don't... You don't say anything. Just... Okay. Save it. I don't want to hear it. It's not my natural way of showing how I love someone. No, oh, man. <laughs> Y'all did him so dirty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm sure you get that, right? No. <laughs> no? Okay. For me, like, love is being willing to bet half your net worth. You'll stay together forever. That is my definition. Okay. <laughs> Did, what? What's your definition of love? Not my natural way of showing how I love No, shut up. I don't care about your passionate response. Let me tell you mine. I want your money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um... <laughs> Mm. <laughs> um, cool. Do you want to grab your drinks and um, and I'll grab the. Let's see. What do we got? I can grab. No, this is so embarrassing. Oh God, stop! All right, so he's deciding the division of the bill right now. I mean, girl, you did drop a really nasty comment just there. To bet half your net worth, you'll stay together forever. Right after that, my math is calculating what she's gonna pay. Do you want to grab your drinks and um, and I'll. All right. Do you want to do like a split with your drinks and stuff? Um, I'll just like pay for whatever I got. Cool. Okay. Awesome. And I'll just pay for what I got. 
This is so embarrassing. I mean, it's normal for people to split the bill, but that's something you agree on, you know? That's not a like a last minute thing where you're like, by the way, I'm not paying. <laughs> Oh my god, kill me immediately. <laughs> I'm just paying for what I got, so. Oh, the girl judged you. No, she judged your ass. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, let me, let me see, so maybe it's easy if I just do what the gentleman had and then I'll yeah. minus. 48.59 mm. Where's my wallet? That old chestnut? <laughs> Heard that before? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think my wallet might actually be outside, strangely enough. This is awkward! I'm a derivatives trader. I'm used to paying my own way, that's fine, but the whole, oh my god, I forgot my wallet, blah blah blah, like I think it might have been like a ploy to try to like make me pay for him. Okay, perfect. Um, can I just fix that up? Uh, I'm just going to duck out and grab my wallet. Um, I can yeah. clean dishes behind the kitchen if you like. Come on, man. Couldn't, like, midday be like, can you give me a second? I need to go to the bathroom and just go grab your wallet and come back. Uh, I've just got to duck out and grab my wallet. Um, I can yeah. clean dishes behind the kitchen if you like. I think I forgot my wallet. Can I, like, do the dishes? What, is there nothing in your wallet? Then why'd you come to this date? No, this man was coming for her to pay. This is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? I don't know, is it? Well, oh, for who? For me or for you? You do have to set up a check. Yeah, of course. You do. Would you like to take my cell phone? It's worth about thirteen hundred dollars. Take that as collateral. Yeah, I can take your cell phone. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Thank you very much. No worries. Okay, the waitress is just rude. I'm sorry, but no waitress should ever talk to a customer like that, with or without money. Ooh. That's not no. This is a bit embarrassing, isn't it? A B do. This is like the worst thing ever. Oh god, this just couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> this is not a human. I'm convinced this man is like some alien trying to convince us he's like human. <laughs> so... Yeah. We uh, had a bit of a day there. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed engaging with you, like right from the start. You're like a really good listener. <laughs> yeah. Um. <coughs> Um, I think it's surprising that you use the word engaged, um, no offence, but I found like that I was talked at a lot. No offence, but like, I felt like most of the time you were talking about yourself, so... <laughs> get a word in I'm sorry I, I don't want to be here I just I don't want to be here this is so embarrassing so yeah <laughs>
That was bad. I don't know guys, this, this guy probably has like a dozen bodies in his backyard. You can see it in his eyes and those little lips. <laughs> you know what? This man, he was clearly having a hard time and he was clearly embarrassed about it. So why'd she think, okay, let's embarrass him some more. This is just bad. This was a this was a bad date, bitch. They were both equally bad. The waitress was bad. This was just bad. And that's just the first one. Here we go. Past. You think we have? 100%. 100%. Are you sure you don't remember walking past this really good looking guy? <laughs> thinking, <"Phew." laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh. Maybe we have. Maybe you tried to hit on me and that was just like... Oh. And walks away. Yeah, no, nah, that hasn't happened. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> it could. I can be quite bitchy when I want to be, so. I'm a bit of an ice queen. I'm quite cold. Did you know that I originate from royal family <laughs> in Italy? You know, like the south, like Naples. Oh my god, that is so cool. Naples is horrible. Excuse me, bitch. Naples is horrible. Wow. South, like Naples. Naples is horrible. No, your attitude is horrible. Ooh. Imagine someone trying to tell you, like, something nice about them, and your response, on a date, and your response is... It's horrible. No offense. <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. I'm just so naturally bitchy. <laughs> this is who I am. I'm just cool like that. What's that? You want a gold medal in the Olympics? You're such a loser. No offense. Sorry. Oh god. There it is again. So I'm just like a mean. Oh, I'm like so cool. It's like being mean is such a rare, cool, and special, distinct trait that nobody has, and it makes me different. A day without laughter yeah. is a day wasted. Do you think that's such a quote? It's a bit cliche and oh. cheesy. Damn it. I love it. Like, oh. Quite mean. <laughs> <laughs> you scare me a bit. <laughs> Do I? Yeah. I can come across quite mean. Yeah, it's come across as me. I'm sure you're sweet that be down, but I, no, I can't be really mean okay. if I want to. Girl, stop. Somebody tell this girl. Look, she probably thinks like being mean is such a distinct special trait. Wow. That makes her so like not like other girls. Like, I'm not I'm not like Ashley. No offense. I'm mean. Horrible. Get out. Girl, get out. Get out of here. She seems like a very sweet girl, um, but sometimes mean. My guy, she traumatized you. You can't even speak properly anymore. Um, I'm quite sensitive and um, emotional. So people should respect that. It's horrible. She has like such a badass, like, I'm cold, I'm mean. I'm an ice queen. Wow. But poor girl is so uninteresting. No offense. And insecure. Uh -huh. Who walks into a date with the intentions of being mean and bitchy? Like, I'm so cool. Oh, we got. What's, what's the damage? I hate all this shit. Give me a look. <laughs> Those Jaeger ones are expensive. 140. Oh, well, it's a service charge. Take the service charge out. Oh, no, we'll pay the service charge. God, no. Dingy. Imagine, imagine going out with a greedy man on a date. Take the service charge out. Oh, no, we'll pay the service charge. Imagine not giving tips on a date. Oh my God, that's a straight no. You know, from that that comment alone, she just knows the kind of man you are now. I would get up. Now that is actually what I get, uh, girls grill me about a bit. Like, I don't, I don't care about paying tips. You gotta give a tip. <laughs> it's something which you can save some money on. I think that's a natural instinct to make, um... Um, don't go on a $140 date if you want to save money. <laughs> Pay a tip. <laughs> 140 I don't know, you should have gone to McDonald's or some shit. Do you want to go split? I mean, You'll pay for the eight oh, here. Yeah. Should I go 80? You go yeah. 60? Whatever. Yeah? <laughs> Let me do it more. What's up? I'm just going to calculate it and work out the bill. You had more of the brownie. One, three. Did he just say you had more of the brownie? You had more of the brownie. Don't stop! This only just exists! Oh god, no! I'm losing my mind. Okay, 
Who does that, honestly? Who does that? I'm gonna take this, it's like a souvenir. Okay. It's my souvenir. 140 okay, well, quid on a You're not taking that for a souvenir, you're taking that for taxes, bitch. <laughs> souvenir, takes a receipt. I went to Pizza Hut the other day, it cost me 28. Oh my god, he's so cheap. The most amazing beard in the world, but if you don't have a personality or manners, it's not gonna work out, is it really? Yeah, this is class, bitch. Man's got no class. Hello. Hey. <laughs> You're right. I'm okay. You have glitter on you. She is beautiful. Girl, you can do so much better. Don't settle for a cheap guy. It was nice, but you, yeah, you need to know that a lot of the things you did weren't first date appropriate. What, jeez? You're quite close minded. I'm okay with that. It's quite a turn off. Sorry, I, if I. If I Shitted on your day. Excuse me, this man is a child. Please, he can't handle criticism. Don't shit on my day. Alright, I'll see you later. Good luck with life, friend. Okay. Girl. <laughs> Girl, that was low. Good luck with life, friend. Okay. <laughs> oh god, stop it, friend. This is fun. This is great. I'm having a great time. Get out, get out. You had more of a brownie. All right, Mr. Sarcastic. Girl, you can do so much better. She's so sweet and she's beautiful. Seriously, dude, calculating the bill right in front of your date and then telling her she had more of a brownie. What an ass. Wow, this man, this man's gonna be single for life. You know what, even this wow. isn't gonna help you, my man. On my first date with this dude about six months ago, he not only pulled out his phone to calculate who pays for what and made a huge fuss out of him, but he said, Set on his main course, get out. There's nothing worse than a cheap steak. Period. Period. People, man. Guy. Disgusting. Got me all worked up. Let's see what else. Hi, buddy. Bloody. Man's checking everyone out, literally. I, I saw every brunette bird that's like walking past. I'm like looking at her like, oh yeah, probably would. Sex on the first date? 100% yeah, definitely have sex on first day. Oh my god, okay, man's man's a mad hoe. <laughs> We're dealing with a hoe. There it is. You're obviously experienced with girls, but are you experienced in love? No, I'm a real novice with love. A child. I don't think I've ever made love. Yeah, I've had a candle on. All right, let's not judge too soon. Would you like to have a relationship? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to have a relationship. How are Hi, you? Yeah. I love your hair. You look like a wildflower. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I normally meet pretty boys. They're normally quite big-headed. Bosh, 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 bosh. Don't seem to attract anybody else. I just seem to attract pretty boys. Aww. You all right? Hiya. You all right? I know her. <laughs> How do you know each other? We met each other on the train. Yeah. Well, when, yeah. when yesterday. Did you meet? We yesterday. Met yesterday yeah, yeah. on the train. She wasn't like a full on meeting. Um, no, not really. Not really. Knew that we was gonna yeah, go yeah. on a date. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know what date, but yeah. You didn't know they know each other. They know each other from the train the previous day. What a coincidence. All right. Small world. It wasn't like a full on meeting. Um, no, not really. Isn't it weird that we like bumped into each other? And obviously, like you fancied me from word go. It's not a fancy you? Who said that to a complete stranger? Okay. You, you know, Jodie. I'm on a date with her. She's like proper, like pretending like she don't know me. <laughs> How fun is that? She's like, oh yeah, we kind of know each other. And I'm like, we don't kind of know each other. Like, I spent all night with you last night. <gasps> what? Okay, so y'all just, so y'all did it on the train. 
What kind of people just can't keep it in their pants? Y'all know you have a date the next day. Imagine if it wasn't with the same people. This man just randomly slept with someone the night before, and so did you, girl? Imagine the poor, clueless guy who was gonna go on a date with her, or a girl on a date with him, right? Who had no idea that they'd previously, the night before, slept with a complete stranger. Y'all, you knew you were going on a date the next day. Keep it in your pants, shit! Hi guys, oh, yeah. how are we doing? I'm good at you. Yeah. We know each other. Why did you feel compelled to tell the waitress this? How, how do you know each other? We met on train up here. That's really? Yeah, we were travelling down to London and we were sat next to each other, so... Okay, did you bond on the train? <laughs> we know each other's name, you know, you, you, we know a little bit, so... We got a subway together. She got a six inch. Six inch subway? <laughs> yeah. Wow! <laughs> yeah, you were. Okay. No innuendos intended. No, there. no, I didn't take it that Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Oh my god. What? Imagine just seeing someone and then following them to a bathroom and doing it and then walking out like. Am I like too innocent? I don't know. Am I like naive? Is that the problem? You know what? I'm not judging anyone. You do you, bitches. You do you. She got a six inch. But you could have waited. Or you could have not gone on a date after and maybe got to know each other. You know? Ooh. That's not what commitment looks like. Would you like to have a relationship? Yeah. Don't tell me you're looking for a relationship. Don't tell me. Please. Damn, where's all the salt coming from? Alright, that's a lot of cringe and embarrassment for one day. I'm just gonna do this because I don't want to look at my hair. Um, drop a thumbs up guys, let's get to 40,000 likes and you'll get three times the secondhand embarrassment and three times the cringe. Yes, it can get worse than this. Wow. Even, even worse than No Lips Boy. That's right. Imagine? That bad? Of course, don't forget to let me know down in the comments below, guys. What are your thoughts on this? Like, which one do you think was the worst so far? Remember Eyeliner Girl? Yeah, that was a steal. We're not having this conversation. This is the least interesting conversation ever. Sheesh, right? Oof. Yeah. Well, we had worse today. I, th I think we had worse today. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what would you do if you went on a date? Like, when it comes to the bill, would you split the bill? Or would you pay the full thing? Or would you expect him, maybe, or her to pay the full thing? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Personally, uh, I think it's okay for people to split the bill. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's been previously discussed, you know? No surprise bills, please. I mean, personally, I feel like if I invited someone out on a date, I would definitely pay the full thing. Because I invited you. You know, next time you invite me. Wow. Right? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty much shit. <laughs> that was pretty much shit, bitch. So, yeah, I'm going out. So